Today we're going to look at uh, our first course around Smell Design. How Smell Design works, how to import a photo, where to get the photo from, and then we're going to implement it by bringing the photo into the three-dimensional image and wrap this photo around our teeth. So the photo that we need is a, is a high-resolution JPEG image of pretty much like a passport photo. We want neck and above, face, nice close-up, with the patient smiling so you can visibly see the smile of the patient sitting naturally. Okay, when I'm looking at a design, so in this particular case that I've got here, we've got a whole bunch of anteriors that we've designed for a patient, and we've even extended this into the region of the fours so we don't see that black triangles coming through. So it's always good when you're doing a full mouth smile in the front to include the fours so we don't create two areas from the overlays that create like a dark area here. So nice idea, works really well. As you can see on the right hand side, we have no picture of the smile icon. So you're going, well, how do we activate the smile icon and how do we get into the smile icon to actually use the smile icon to identify what we need to do? What is a smile icon for? It gives us a midline reference, it gives us a nose reference, it gives us a canine reference so that we can line stuff up. It also gives us a reference of where the lips lying in the smile rest position to the length and extension of the teeth. So we're really using this for a few basic checkpoints to make sure that we've got our planes and our angles lying right and to give us a visual indicator of what it'll look like behind the patient's mouth. If we jump back into administration now, we can see down on the left hand side we have this additional icon called Smile Design. All we've got to do is go and put a tick in the Smile Design box. So we've now activated the Smile Design and as you can see this can be done at any time through the case. So if we've done the case, you've decided that you want to now bring a Smile Design into the play, it's no problem at all. Simply come and activate it at the time or when you're ready to do the Smile Design. If we jump back to design now, we will now see that we have this additional box here with a little smiley face. This now says initialize the design. So we're going to initialize the design and we're going to find the file on the computer where we've saved this high resolution face shot smiling and we're opening our patient. Might help if I select it. There we go. It now gives us our patient view. You can see it's a nice photo straight up of the face. And we have these markers on the left hand side that we need to correspond with on the right hand flat image. It's the corner of the eyes. It then moves to the other side of the corner of the eye. It's the nose. It's the ear lobe. The other ear lobe. The corner commissure of the mouth other commissure of the mouth, the midline, so sitting nicely in the midline. This one I like to try and focus to get. You can readjust afterwards. The bottom part, sort of where the canine or where the lip, I like to look at the nose and bring the nose marker down because that's kind of where the nose and the, and the canine line up. We line those two markers up. Again, the nose and the canine tend to line up on those markers as natural reference points. The curvature here, which sits just below the lip, on the curvature, on the curvature, and then the chin. Our next angle is the lateral distance between the teeth. So you can measure this to get an accurate referencing of how wide the patients from the eyes are. We're going to leave that as it is for now, and we're going to go into the alignment phase. Here you can see our mock-up, which we've got uh, from the original. We had a copy folder of the patient's original teeth prior to creating a little bit of extra anatomy, changing the form a little bit. And we now have our teeth to overlay. So we can move it up. We can change the pitch, bring it down and overlay the teeth as best as we can to find where it sits comfortably over the markers. If I move it across, I can see I want to tilt this one slightly that way. And I want to move us back a little bit in the mouth. Right. 
I'm quite happy with that. We've now got guide planes. So here we can now focus on that midline guide plane, which is quite nice because it gives us a proper midline guide with that plane. We've got our two other planes and guides. We've now set this up. We can recreate all these different lines as well. But for now, we're going to go back into the small design and just make sure that we've got our tick. This brings our photo in with our lines and you can see the lines on the midlines. You can see the profiles of where it's sitting through the middle. Perfect. OK, let's have a look. As I rotate us round, we're now getting a two dimensional image that becomes a wrapped three dimensional image to give us an idea of where the, the lines are sitting. If we go back into our design now and we're looking at our design, we can now go exit the small design. We've finished the setup. And we now have our patient in view, which we can move around, have a look at the design. What do I use this for? In morphology down the bottom, I have the ability. So I'm going to just take the small design off. So we can see our mock-up of our teeth. We've decided on a form. So we're using the tooth db database and we're trying to find a nice form so if we look at the cangular teeth it's a lighter female look so we can look at the the ovoid that i find a little bit too masculine we can go and look at the triangular teeth we can look at and so you can scroll through the database the one that i found suited her the most and looked the nicest was this ovoid form with a bit of tooth morphology so now we've got this form in play we can open the small design again and see the teeth now often i remove the lower because it distracts what i'm looking at so you can take the lower image away and look at how the line is really sitting on the small design so you can see that canine comes down this length so do we have our plane right i think we're right on the plane we're definitely looking nice it's very nicely smiled if we wanted to lengthen anything here we have the ability to go into our tools and play with the design so if i go into the edit restoration phase there's the original mock-up there's her new teeth coming into play on the design and I now have the ability to take these forms and re-correct them or change them in any way I like okay so the design's finished on the mock-up right so we can say this canine sits a lot further down and do I want that canine to come down as much so within that design I have the ability to now push these back up perhaps lengthen this one slightly to compensate for that one and bring the smile back into play to line them up so all of these I'm kind of extending slightly and we're now lining up into the smile with our three-dimensional image that is smile design that's what helps us with that we can put our guidelines back to actually check our midlines check our planes but uh, yeah use it for reference point i think we'll see further development with this where we can actually take this into a, a secondary plane and a third plane in the future but right now it's a visual guiding system to kind of review prior to just going ahead with the patient hope you enjoyed the small design and uh, chat to you guys soon